Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiriawan, and today I want to talk about what I learned after 8 years of using Micro Four Thirds camera system. Let's go! So this month, August of 2022, will be my 8 years anniversary of switching to Micro Four Thirds camera system. 8 years is actually not a short time, it's quite long, almost one decade. If I have a son or a daughter and if he or she is 8 years old, probably he or she is already in elementary school. <laughs> so what happened 8 years ago? Uh, I was looking for a camera system that could replace my DSLR camera system, my Canon 650D at that time, because my Canon 650D it is a big camera, it is a heavy camera and the lenses are also bulky and it's just too cumbersome and it's very difficult for me to use the 650D for travel. So I want something lighter, I want something portable but can still produce good enough image quality. Also at that time I was experimenting with video as well. I tried to uh, make YouTube videos like what I'm doing right now and although the 650D is doing just fine, I found that I need something that is more reliable in video. Also, I need this camera system that will replace my 650D to produce significant jump of image quality when compared to flagship smartphone of those days, where at that time the smartphone's cameras are not as good as today. So I want something that can give me that boost, that jump, so that my images and video can look good and significantly better when compared to smartphone. So I started to research about mirrorless cameras back then in 2014 and I found a video by David Thorpe explaining about micro footage cameras and that was the time when I'm becoming very interested in switching to micro footage camera and you can learn more about how I switched to micro footage camera the whole story in the video in this card right here. Uh, you can watch that video but basically after I watch uh, David Thorpe's video, I become really interested in Micro Four Thirds because I thought that is the correct system for me and I started to switch to Micro Four Thirds. And you know what? After I switched to Micro Four Thirds, I really think that it's one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Micro Four Thirds really changed my life for the better. <laughs> and I started with the small Panasonic GX7 with the kit lens 14 to 42 millimeter. And as time goes, I started to buy another camera bodies and I started to uh, collect lenses. And now I have a full Micro Four Thirds camera system with whole bunch of lenses and a couple of camera bodies. After the GX7, I bought the Olympus EPL6, the little small mirrorless cameras from Olympus. It was really a great camera back then I really enjoyed that camera and then after that I also got this Panasonic LX100 pocket camera but this is still technically a micro four thirds camera and then I also got the Panasonic GX8 this guy right here this is one of my favorite camera ever this is so good it's been with me to so many places and it's been uh, doing really great for both photo and video and last but not least I purchased the Panasonic G85 that's currently recording this video right now and all of them they've been doing really great job when it comes to both photography and video. I remember in August 2014 when I first got my GX7 I was really excited and then I started to bring this camera everywhere I go to so many places to so many different countries and then I started to realize this is the camera that I've been missing. This is what I'm looking for. A small camera that is not as big, as bulky as my DSLR, but can still produce great image quality and also with a complete selection of lenses that I can choose. Right before I had the Panasonic GX7, I experimented with Canon EOS M mirrorless camera by Canon. It was a great camera, but it was a little bit finicky. There were just too much compromise although it is small and then there's not a whole lot of selection for native lenses so I have to adapt lenses from the SLR and it's just not convenient, it's just not practical so I ended up not using the EOS M so much. 
So I was really glad that I came across Microfortis because it ended up being the correct system for me. And long story short, fast forward until today, it is my only and primary camera system that I use right now. So now I want to share a little bit about what I really love from Microfortis camera system after using it for eight years. So as I mentioned in some of my other videos about Microfortis, Microfortis is the only camera system that strikes the right balance for me between image quality, performance, size, weight, portability, and price. So everybody has different kind of preference when it comes to these aspects. But for me personally, uh, my preference is really leaning toward Micro Fortis. This balance between image quality, performance, portability, and price really makes Micro Fortis not just a fantastic camera for everyday kind of use for general purpose photography and video, but for me who travels quite frequently, this is also the perfect travel camera. Speaking about travel, when I travel internationally with my Micro Fortis camera system, I can bring a couple of bodies with three lenses with no problem. I can still keep the weight in check. Whereas if I'm using my DSLR camera system, I can probably only bring one camera body with a couple of lenses. So that means when I bring my Micro Fortis camera system for travel, I can cover more focal lengths potentially, and I can still have that good image quality that is significantly better than a smartphone camera image quality while keeping the weight still in check. And I also don't have to spend as much as if I'm using full frame mirrorless system or something like that. Speaking about covering focal lengths, the lens selection in Micro Fortis camera system is amazing. We have everything from ultra wide angle all the way up to telephoto and everything in between with choices of different apertures, different zoom range, different manufacturers, and different price range. It's just so complete and very fantastic. Still speaking about lenses, there are so many lenses in Micro Fortis system that I consider to be the hidden gem. Well, they're, they're not that hidden anymore because a lot of people already know about these lenses, but I still consider them to be something like the true gem of the Micro Fortis camera system, uh, such as this Lawa 7.5mm f2 right here, ultra wide angle lens, a uh, prime lens with large aperture of f2 in this size is just wonderful. And then there's also the newly announced Panasonic Leica 9mm f1.7. Same story, ultra wide angle, large aperture, and small size. It's just fantastic. And then the Panasonic Leica 15mm f1.7 that's recording this video right now. Also a wonderful lens, a moderately wide, but very enjoyable to use with its f1.7 aperture. And then also this little tiny guy, the Panasonic 20mm f1.7. Look at how small it is. This is so small, so lightweight, but the picture quality is amazing. There's also this Olympus 45mm f1.8. Look at how small this guy is. And this can really produce great result for portrait. If you compare it with the full frame version or APS-C version, undoubtedly they'll be bigger and more expensive as well. And then also they have this Panasonic 14 to 140 millimeter f3.5 to f5.6 or its Olympus counterpart. This is the amazing travel lens for me. This can cover anything from moderate wide all the way to telephoto with just one single lens without any compromise in image quality. This is just mm, so fantastic. All of these lenses, they are just small, they are just lightweight, but they produce great image quality, and that's really the essence of Micro Fortis camera system. Speaking about image quality, as I mentioned earlier, maybe Micro Fortis is not the best when it comes to image quality. There are so many different formats, especially bigger formats that can produce better image quality. But for me, personally, this is still a significant jump from a flagship smartphone camera quality. So I still really love and enjoy Micro Fortis uh, picture quality and video quality. Anyway, all of these factors that I just mentioned, the image quality, the lens selection, the portability, the performance, everything that I just mentioned, they all work together, creating Micro Fortis to become the ultimate camera system that I wanna pick up and use. 
This camera system really inspires me to bring my camera and lens everywhere I go, whether I'm traveling domestically or internationally, and not to have an excuse to leave my camera behind. And that is really what makes Micro Four Thirds special. The performance, while not the best, is still good enough for me and still better than most cameras out there. The size, although not as small as my smartphone, it is still small enough compared to some other camera formats. And the image quality, while not as good as full frame or medium format, it is still good enough and significantly better than my smartphone camera. So Micro Four Thirds really has this special balance that makes it very unique and very interesting and it really resonates with my philosophy of how a camera system should be. So after using Micro Four Thirds for more than eight years, I can really say that this is the perfect camera system for me. There's no longer that sticking sore thumb of any aspect from this camera system and I can just find some joy and passion when using this camera system. I no longer have to think about my camera system, about my gear, about my lenses. I can just start to focus on the hobby itself, the passion itself, photography and video. And I can just focus on capturing what matters the most to me. And that joy, that passion, that inspiration that I just talked about, that's all that matters in the end. If you have a camera system that's worth tens of thousands of dollars, but if you don't enjoy using it, you cannot find your passion, you cannot find your joy using that camera system, then it'll feel like a chore, an obligation, something that you don't really enjoy instead of something that you truly love and care. With my Micro Four Thirds camera system, I am finally able to find that joy, that passion, that inspiration, something that I truly love and care, which is photography and video as hobby. Now that I've already talked about everything that I love and enjoy from my Micro Four Thirds camera system, now it's time for me to talk about things that needs to be improved from Micro Four Thirds. I learned that no camera system is perfect. And after using Micro Four Thirds for eight years, I can also say that Micro Four Thirds is not an exception. I want better continuous autofocus, especially during video, not just in professional grade camera bodies, but also in enthusiast grade camera bodies as well. I say that because I feel that there's this kind of stubbornness, especially from a particular Micro Four Thirds manufacturers uh, that doesn't really want to revolutionize the autofocus system to improve it significantly, but rather just improving it slightly evolutionary kind of thing. So I really wish that this will be fixed in the future. I also want more smaller, lighter, but capable and still affordable lenses in the future. Just like the recently announced Panasonic Leica 9mm f1.7. I really think that lens is great. And this kind of smaller lenses, but still capable and affordable, is the essence of what Micro Four Thirds is. I also want better low light performance on upcoming Micro Four Thirds sensors so that I can be more confident when shooting in lower light condition or in high ISO. Even though the current generation of Micro Four Thirds sensor can comfortably shoot up to ISO 3200 in my opinion. I also want Micro Four Thirds manufacturers to also focus more on enthusiast market, hobbyists, people like me and you, also people who travel a lot and content creators. Uh, we don't just look for big professional body, but we also want something that is smaller, more streamlined, but still capable and affordable. So now we're almost at the end of the video. And I just want to say that after using Micro Four Thirds for eight years, I can happily say that I really enjoy and having fun and I really love using Micro Four Thirds camera system. My eight years journey of using Micro Four Thirds system has brought me so much joy and happiness in my life. And with my Micro Four Thirds camera system, I was able not only to get great pictures and video with high standards, but also to enjoy the process of doing photography and video as hobby. And that's really something special. With my Micro Four Thirds camera system, I was also able 
to learn in every step of the process about photography and video and how it teach me uh, so many good things in my life that I can apply not just for my hobby but also for my everyday kind of situation. So this is not just a journey about photography and video but also a life journey. In conclusion, Micro Four Thirds camera system is not 100% perfect. There are many compromises, but the balance between these compromises of different aspects really makes it the perfect camera system for me that I really enjoy to use. It brought me so much fun, it brought me so much joy, it brought me so much passion and learning, and I'm really having fun with my Micro Four Thirds camera system. And that's all that matters for me. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that you find today's video to be informative and enjoyable. Please comment down below. How is your journey with your Micro Four Thirds camera system or any other camera system that you are currently using right now? If you have any questions about today's video, also comment down below and let's try to have a little bit of discussion. Also, don't forget to support my small channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. It will really help me to motivate me to keep making these videos for you. Thank you and goodbye.